Dubai is a nation that belongs to the Middle East. Due to political unrest that has throughout the years caused tensions and uncertainty not just in the region but also throughout the entire world, this region as a whole often only draws a small number of tourists. Other obstacles to the effective growth of tourism in the area include a lack of infrastructure, a lack of promotion, and a lack of attractions. Despite all of these difficulties, Dubai has yet managed to have a thriving tourism industry, with the exception of its travel regulations. Hello my people, before we start with the episode today make sure you are subscribed to our channel and drop a like. Numerous awards were given to Dubai's booming tourist sector at the World Travel Awards Middle East. The government of the nation has been successful in putting into place good economic diversification plans, which in combination with aggressive marketing have led to a growing tourism industry. Dubai has made significant investments in high-end, cutting-edge facilities and has intensified its marketing efforts, which have helped her tourism industry thrive. Her setting of astronomically high arrival targets shows how high her expectations for the future are. Actually, Dubai has proven that it is capable of overcoming the difficulties the tourism sector faces and has established itself as a leader in the sector with a very high growth rate. As a result, Dubai serves as an intriguing illustration of a bustling tourism hub in the Middle East that is quickly developing new prospects and reaching its full potential. Despite this, there are numerous limitations that could prevent Dubai's tourism business from reaching its potential. Because of these elements, policies and tactics need to be reviewed. The development of destinations is a significant topic in tourist literature, and research on this topic spans many fields and viewpoints. These viewpoints are government regulations, the spatial evolution of a destination, marketing techniques and business plans, effects of development. A thorough examination of these elements reveals whether or not a location under consideration for a resort is likely to develop into a significant tourism hub. The following statistics show how successfully Dubai's tourism industry has developed during the past three decades. Sociopolitical stability. Dubai has over the years experienced relative tranquility, in contrast to the majority of its neighbors. Stability in the economic, political, and social spheres is crucial for enabling the smooth growth of tourism. This is due to the fact that disturbances deter investment, travelers, and the entire sector by discouraging tour operators and agents. Dubai, one of the United Arab Emirates federations, has embodied the federation's real character. Oil sales revenue has allowed Abu Dhabi to support the federation. Regionally, Dubai serves as an entrepot and markets itself as the financial hub of the Gulf. Globally speaking, Dubai is seen as a liberal, cosmopolitan community with essentially zero criminal activity and civil disturbance risks. In the Muslim nation of Dubai, where women are generally viewed as less valuable than men, other religions are accepted. Her entire population, more than 80%, consists of foreigners. Accessibility. The advancements in the transportation industry and Dubai's accessibility to the outside world are directly related to the growth of the tourism industry there. Dubai officials are putting the required infrastructure in place in order to achieve their objective of being a significant hub for air travel throughout the entire region. In terms of passenger traffic, Dubai's civil aviation has advanced pretty well, and its airport is one of the 20 busiest in the world. 100 airlines servicing 145 different destinations handled about 20 million passengers between 1990 and 2004. In the upcoming several years, the Dubai airport is anticipated to handle roughly 140 million travelers. In order to accommodate for additional freight, the Dubai administration is also making preparations for a new airport. The Emirates airline has a reputation for providing the best services in the area. She has garnered honors and acclaim for providing excellent customer service with several of her planes, which are among the most technologically advanced in the world. Dubai is proud to have the 43-mile-long, 47-station longest completely automated rail network in the world. 12 elevated stations, 9 kilometers of underground truck, and 15 kilometers of overground truck make up this project. And forthcoming project will involve building a 1,500-foot railway line. This planned railway will link Dubai to the other Emirates as well as Oman, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. Once more, one of the Emirates that serves as a center for massive cruise ships is Dubai. Attractions. On its 64-kilometer-long coastline, Dubai boasts a diverse center of attractions. This stunning coastline has a number of top-tier resort areas that offer popular tourist pursuits including golfing, skiing, sailing, and other water sports. The desert offers spectacular adventures for camel riding, sand skiing, 
dune driving, exploring wadis, and seeing particular oases and forts to tourists. Additionally, Dubai City is home to a vast network of shopping centers that are well stocked with international goods. In recent years, the city's industrial growth has drawn huge crowds of investors who also double as tourists. Elegant skyscrapers are a regular sight in Dubai, which has significantly improved the city's natural beauty. Since traffic bottlenecks are a prevalent problem in many nations, well-designed road networks with underground tunnels and above-ground networks have done much to ensure smooth traffic flow. Unlike a few years ago, tourists are no longer required to spend a lot of time in the city waiting for traffic to clear. Amenities. Accommodations are the main basic amenities needed by travelers. The growth of the hotel business is a primary government priority in Dubai. In the last 10 years, the number of hotel rooms has more than doubled and is steadily rising. There are currently over 300 hotels with top-notch leisure facilities. The liberalization of land leasing regulations has greatly aided the growth of the hospitality industry, and several five-star properties are likely to be built. One of these is a hotel called Hydropolis that was built up to 20 meters underwater. At a recent awards event held at the brand new St. Regis Dubai, votes named Dubai the Middle East's leading destination. The Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing DTCM, was named the Middle East's leading tourist board at the same time the Emirate was named the region's top destination for meetings and conferences. The Dubai Green Tourism Program won the Middle East's leading sustainable tourism initiative category, recognizing Dubai tourism's efforts to develop a sustainable tourism business for the future. The Middle East's leading cruise port award went to Dubai's Mina Rashid on the cruise front, an industry that Dubai has set its sights on developing at a quick rate. A large number of the first group's strategic partners with offices in Dubai also won recognition, including Emirates Airline, which took home the titles of Middle East's leading airline website and Middle East's leading airline rewards program. Atlantis, the Palm, Dubai also won the title of Middle East's leading resort. One of its most opulent hotels, Jumeirah al Khazar at Medinat Jumeirah, won the Middle East's leading hotel title. Another partner, the Jumeirah Group, received numerous honors, including the Middle East's leading luxury hotel brand. And the iconic, seven-star Burj Al Arab, run by Jumeirah, came out on top when it came to the title of leading all-suite hotel in the Middle East. Dubai International, DXB, the biggest airport in the world for international travel, was voted the Middle East's leading airport in 2015. It handled 78 million passengers in 2015. The World Travel Awards, now in their 23rd year, honor excellence in important areas of the travel and tourism business. Before moving on to a year-end worldwide finale, winners are first chosen at six regional events, including the Middle East event. Executives in the tourism business and travelers themselves cast ballots. The World Travel Awards Grand Final will be held this year on December 2 at the Olhaveli Beach and Spa Resort in the Maldives, and winners from the Middle East event will compete there. The region's most visited city, Dubai, saw 8.1 million visitors in the first half of 2018, shrugging aside any concerns about VAT. The city is on track to surpass its 15.79 million visitors total from the previous year. Dubai is anticipated to surpass Paris this year to become the third most visited city in the world, with a similar growth pattern in visitor numbers throughout the second half. After Bangkok, London, and Paris, it was the fourth most visited city in the world in 2017. According to data issued by Dubai's Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing, Dubai Tourism, on Wednesday, the conventional markets were the growth's main drivers, thanks to incentives such as visas on arrival as well as Dubai's multimedia campaigns in various markets. India, Saudi Arabia, the United Kingdom, China, and Russia were the Emirates' top five source markets. In H1, Dubai welcomed more than a million visitors from India, a 3% increase. While the number of visitors from Russia, up 74% to 405,000, was the market with the biggest growth. Similar to that, there were 453,000 Chinese tourists overall, an increase of 9%. In H1 2018, Saudi Arabia continued to be the GCC's largest feeder market. The US and Germany improved their contributions during the first half of 2018, according to Dubai Tourism, placing strong at 7th and 8th with 327,000 and 302,000 visitors, respectively. Director General of Dubai Tourism Helal Saeed Almari stated that partnerships have been put in place to guarantee that the Emirate remains relevant and top of mind for both new and returning visitors.
Achieving 8.10 million visitors in the first half of 2018 puts us well on our way to achieving our goal of becoming the most visited city in the world. In response to market demand, Dubai's tourism strategy has changed to include a wider range of offerings, which has increased the Emirates' appeal to key visitor demographics worldwide, Almari declared. According to Dubai Tourism, there were 700 hotel establishments with 111,317 keys in Dubai at the end of H1 2018, an increase of 7% from the same period in 2017. A rise in demand for mid-market hotels in Dubai has led to an increase in the number of four-star hotels from 114 to 138, accounting for 25% of the rooms available. With a total of 14.97 million occupied room nights compared to 14.53 million during the same time in 2017, occupancy rates were also higher year over year. At the conclusion of the previous year, Dubai Tourism reported that the country's entire tourism industry was worth DH109 billion. According to Alex Kiraikidis, President and Managing Director of Marriott International for the Middle East and Africa, Dubai is maintaining its status as the top vacation destination in the world. Through its visa initiatives, which have not only made it easier to enter the city but also promoted this destination to new source markets, Dubai has done an outstanding job of fostering the growth of tourism, according to Kiraikidis. The travel and tourism industry received a boost from a number of initiatives introduced in the first half, according to Laurent A. Voivinal, SVP for Operations and Development for the Middle East, Africa, and India at Swiss Bell Hotel International, including new attractions, relaxed visa requirements, new route launches by Emirates and Fly Dubai, enhanced hotel, retail, and event offerings, as well as global marketing by Dubai Tourism. Due to the busy season for both leisure and business travelers and a full calendar of activities, the number of overnight guests will increase even more in the second half of 2018. He noted that because VAT in the UAE is among the lowest rates in the world, its overall impact on the hotel industry has been quite minimal. In addition, the government is investing tax money in development projects, which will strengthen a number of businesses in the nation, including tourism. According to William Costley, Vice President of Operations for the Arabian Peninsula and Turkey, Dubai's tourist and hospitality industries have a very bright future. The tourism experience of Dubai can therefore be used to draw important conclusions, and the applicability of its tourism model can be evaluated in light of other prospective travel destinations. The outcomes of the research will undoubtedly help to improve awareness of the tourist sector, which has been mostly ignored in the Middle East due to myths. With this, we end our today's video. Thank you for watching.